First, continued community outpouring following the tragic death of a fallen Providence police officer. Sergeant Maxwell Dorley is remembered by the community and his family. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly spoke with Sergeant Dorley's family today. He joins us live from the scene of Admiral Street where a growing memorial has formed at the site of the accident. Yes, we're here on Admiral Street in Providence where there's evidence both of new life and new death. A tree in full spring bloom and a memorial to a fallen Providence police officer. Uh, I, lo I lost a great nephew, you know, he's really going to be missed. He's, I'm going to miss him. Eyewitness News sat down today with 42-year-old Maxwell Dorley's uncle and cousin. He loved children, he loved his family. He just, he was the type of person that just wanted to take care of everyone. As it turned out, Providence Police Sergeant Maxwell Dorley died as he lived, helping out. He lost control of his cruiser yesterday on his way to help a fellow officer dealing with a domestic disturbance. He was going for a right course. He was there to f help his fellow officer. Two years ago, he also helped out fellow police officers in his native Liberia in Africa. He went back to donate used Providence police uniforms and bulletproof vests. And he was just so happy to go back and give back. And he just, he talked about how grateful the people were. In a haunting coincidence of timing, Max Dorley had just spoken with his cousin about the dangers of his job on Sunday, four days before he died. And he was talking about the stresses of being a police officer. Now people don't understand sometimes, you know, when you're in stressful situations and what officers deal with when they're in, you know, in the line of duty. And, and I remember him, he specifically said, He said, you never know when a call will be your last call. And he just said that on Sunday. Max Dorley's relatives say the family keeps asking themselves, why, why, why? That's new at 6. Live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.